Hello. Who are you? Welcome to a new weekend. And a new year. It's New Year's Day. It's New Year's Day. What do you do on New Year's Day? Mask up and head to the garden centre. Yeah, we were those people that were waiting for the garden centre to open at 10 o'clock this morning. We were. It was nice and quiet. It was lovely. And I was also working the assumption that the people that are up early enough on New Year's Day to go to a garden centre for 10 o'clock are probably the kind of people who are staying away from people and probably are least likely to be contaminated by it just general sense. meeting of people. Yeah, so it's the garden centre. We did, there was a queue outside and we were like, oh gosh. Busy, oh, innit? Oh. They all ran for food. <laughs> like the cafe. And we were like, do, 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 looking at the house plants. I want some plants <laughs> indoor and outdoor. So we went wandering around looking for plants. We did. I it, got some uh, hobby craft stuff as well. Hobby craft was open. Some, um, you need some labels because you've got some sensi business, sensi to business do. stuff to do. I was just um, looking at my watch. Sorry, it's 10 to 12. Is it? Mm. Obviously, it goes the morning. But what a productive morning it was. Yeah. So it's new weekend, new year, new house. What we... That was awkward. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to change that battery and remember <laughs> how, to, how to vlog. Battery died. I don't think we ever knew. Are we going to show them what we bought? Yeah, it's, it's raining. So we've left the car with the plants outside. So I'll give you... a a quick show of those but also we've got all that stuff in the hallway we went to our friends we got more stuff we got more we? stuff david needed the printer because he's got sensitive business to be getting on with we need to transport that upstairs and set it up for the internet which is <clears> never <throat> fun so a bit of planting maybe this weekend it's very homely stuff in it gosh we're very suburban these days <laughs> right i'll i'll do you a i'll do you what i'll do you a large one no that's not right I'll show you what we got from the uh, garden centre. This is going to be interesting. It's the first time I've filmed outside. You have to whisper. There we go. Plants galore. It's pretty, isn't it? A stick. Another house plant. That's to clean this dirty dry. Oh, David's got sliders on his socks. Oh my God. <laughs> you take the boy out and peck them, but... <laughs> right, let's get those inside. Okay. And just like that. They found a new home. <laughs> Stay there now for about three weeks. David's going to be attacking the moss. Very exciting. Moss moss update for the drive. Moss killer. I think it's still staying here. What, in the kitchen? Yeah. Over there? Yeah, in the corner. Because that wall's going to be green. Garden green, which is arriving. The sample's sometime... arriving, isn't it? Sometime this week. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have a cup of coffee and put some of this away. Oh, yeah, I need a cup of tea as well. And dishwasher empty. Don't say that. Didn't say that in Peckham. Going to the dishwasher. Look at us. <laughs> Moving the, up in the world. Joining the 20th century. Time check. 12.30ish. Having a little bit of hot cross bun action. Or toasted bun. I'm having tea. I'm having coffee. Dave's put two plants in. Oh yeah. Remember those pots we got when we went to Barnsley for Josh and Lauren's wedding? We stopped off at Jizz. In Mansfield. <laughs> when David's parents went in. But they look all right in there. Yeah, two of those pots are down there. Over here, the big plant. The other plant's currently outside. We've got a bag of bulbs. The noise you can hear is the um, extractor. Because the, the buns were a bit burny in the um, toaster. So I was a bit worried we are going to start the fire alarm off again. So we'll have a little snack and then do a bit more fanning around. I'm going to set up a printer. <laughs> Exciting stuff here in the vlog. Ooh, look at that fat pigeon. It's the next day. You never news it is the next day. What happened yesterday? I'm not vlog ready. <laughs> David set up the printer and then we went to our friends to get the printer ink because we forgot that, came back and it's the wrong printer ink. Don't know the one that we needed. Oh, it's so tragic. David's got stuff he needs to print, so today we're off to buy a printer. Well, that sounds really extravagant. It is really extravagant. It's not. We have, <laughs> we have a printer which prints art prints and it's not designed to do... Everyday. Everyday printing. So each print is like quite expensive and when you don't use it for a while and the ink seizes up you've then got to change your whole cartridge and those cartridges aren't cheap so we've realized the amount of times we've had to print one or two sheets and then the cartridge gums up it's probably cheaper just buy a made for everyday printing printer so we'll have to get that today you know like last year when those pillars appeared in the deserts and stuff those black tombs i don't know if you know what i'm talking about Black pillars appeared like stone. Oh, around the world, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happened in our garden. It has, look. Mm. You knew where I was going with that. I did. <laughs> now I've realised. Yes, we've had pillars appear. Yeah, so we went to get those from our friend's garage. They were stored in their garage because we have... We've got those plants we need to plant at some point later, which may happen today. It's ten past ten. We're both having a drink. David's having coffee. I'm going to have tea. Um, but we're off to Fairham in the uh, onto car. To do click and collect. Click and collect. We're not going into a dirty shop. 
You've gone for a Witch Best Buy printer. Oh, I mean, it's turned into Watchdog again. Right, I'm going to have my tea. And then... I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to trousers on. <laughs> we'll see you in the car. We're on the road. We're in the dirty car. <laughs> We're in the dirty car. Don't right? judge, it's not being cleaned in almost three months. I mean, it's, it's not been a priority, has it, really? It, no. It's fast becoming a priority. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't criticise other people's cleaning and not be clean ourselves. Well, well we, we can. can. <laughs> and we will. <laughs> the roads are empty this Sunday morning. So we arrived at Curry's PC World, click and collect parking bay one. David's just doing his business that he needs to do in order for them to bring it to the car. Um, number one in the queue. Oh, number one in the queue, right. I'm just gonna go and pop the boot. Catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon. Right, it's chilly. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely, <laughs> lovely and fresh. It says I'm number one in the queue. I'm a number one. <laughs> You're a number two. Rude. <laughs> Oh, Curry's a message to what they've got to say. Curry said, hi David, we're bringing your order for 22157958840 to you now. Please open your boot and wait. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hello. There you go. Cheers, buddy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That's how to shop, isn't it? Bring it to your door. I don't think he wanted to get in the car because he saw how dirty it was. Not that he was getting in the car, it's not like it's a... We transferred dirt... Silence of the lambs. We transferred dirt from the house. <laughs> That's what it is. Right. I want to see if there's a Starbucks drive through What's the plan, Stan? Well, David's been to Starbucks. Well, I say David's been to Starbucks. We obviously drove here together. <laughs> I don't so, know where we are. But we got a little bit of breakfast. I've got the vegan, what is it? Vegan it's like uh, a, Christmas breakfast. Is it just Christmas? I think it's festive, yeah. Beyond Meat Breakfast Sandwich Plant-Based. It's it's a vegan version. It's, it's appetizing. It, it's lovely. It's Starbucks version of a McDonald's muffin, sausage muffin. And I've had this a few times, and it is absolutely all wonderful. You do like it, don't you? Do love it. I've got a sausage sandwich. All oh, right. Less cow, more pig. What? Less pig. cow, more pig. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, it's basically it's like a vegan. Moving mountains. They do the uh, burgers, don't they? Hmm. So it's like a breakfast patty version of that with Impossible Burger, isn't it? Impossible Burger, yeah. Basically, with nice. um, fake cheese and some mustard. I think. It smells cheesy. Delicious. Right, we'll have these and then we will go home. <laughs> We're back home, there's the printer. That's what we just picked up. Apparently very cost effective and... Um, Welcome to Witch Online. Oh look, I'm glowing like an angel. <laughs> so David's gonna sort the printer out. I have got a bag full of food because... We've got people coming for dinner. Bit of Sunday lunch, we've got... Well, this is why we moved to Southampton, isn't it? So yeah. we've got people around. People in our bubble. Our friends in our, who we've bubbled with are coming around for a bit of lunch. So we've got Yorkshire puddings, pie and roast potatoes. So we'll see you after they've been and gone. Because at some point, we've still got to do the pots in the garden. Last night, we used David's Christmas champagne glasses. We watched Harry Potter, the Ooh. reunion wind. <laughs> While he's having a burp. We watched Harry Potter, the reunion it was very nice. on Sky. And remember this from last year? Amaretto. And cherry fizz. We'd squirreled a bottle away from last year. I say last year, it's the year before last now, isn't it? So we had that while watching Harry Potter and it's very nice. Can anyway. Set the printer up? All right, I'm gonna go and got my potatoes parboiling. See you after lunch. So it's much, much later. It's bank holiday Monday. It's the last day we've both got off. Dave's actually got to go into town, into London on Tuesday for nine o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be a very early start. He's upstairs currently finishing his essay, which is due today. Time now is about 10 to 11. I've been sat here looking out to the garden because I put a bit of bread out earlier. A bit of stale bread and some stale sausage rolls. It's been really nice because there's been robins, blue tits, sparrows, magpies and pigeons. I've been sat here watching those as I've been listening to Ken Bruce doing Popmaster. Finally got around to listening to Popmaster. We've got a delivery coming this afternoon, which is some, which is a bookshelf that David ordered. So that's due between, I think, one and three. I do need to get around to filling up those planters with those. And that's the bag of bowls we got from the garden centre earlier. Still don't have a bin, so we're hanging up a black bag. But I have had thoughts about recycling. What I've been doing is traipsing into the garage to put the cardboard and the bottles and the plastic. It's just a faff. So I feel like we need something here in the kitchen. I don't want something that's ugly. So I found these online. They are stackable lockers. There you go. So I'm thinking three of those, one for paper, one for plastic, one for glass, will kind of match the chairs, 
So I need to speak to David and convince him. They are in the cell, but uh, yeah, we should have a conversation about it first. So remember all this polystyrene? That's what I'm going to use to put into the bottom of the planters. So I don't need to use as much compost. And I just realised the compost is in the boot of the car, so I should probably go and get that first. I've got this David going out the kitchen. Good morning. I'm doing the uni business. <laughs> the, the unit that, or the shelving unit that David's ordered is coming in about 20 minutes. So that's coming earlier than we thought. So it'll be here this morning. Very uh, friendly man on the phone. Oh, David's going back upstairs to finish off because he, he left obviously because he wanted to be in this bit. But I've already been there in the garden with my body's diary. That's quite full. And that one's quite full. Now let's fill it out with that. It's about 10 past 12. It took about an hour. Quite a lot of mess. But the final result is that. That's the first one. And the second one. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And the neighbours' kids are out playing football. They come out about 10 minutes every day to play football in the back garden, which we're okay with. It's the only noise there is around here. And considering where we came from with Peckham. Oh, look. Look who's here. Hello. I was just saying that I finished my pots. Two of the pots are done. Still got a bit of compost left. Not enough for that one. But. Are you going to nip out and get some? Am I going to nip out and get some? I mean, I suppose I could. I'm on the uh, proofreading of the last essay. Oh, look at that. Hello. <laughs> I've got a suggestion for some recycling bins. Oh, okay. They're lockers. Those, they stack. Oh, they're cool, aren't they? Send me a link. Okay, so that's a goer. So they'll be arriving next week. Oh. Even that bird was a critic then. There was something quite nice about doing a bit of gardening and someone posted on Facebook yesterday this article, 100 ways to slightly improve your life about really trying, which I thought was a really nice read. And one of them was about just plant something. There we go, number seven, plant spring bulbs, even if just in a pot. Keep a bird feeder by a window, ideally the kitchen. It'll pass time when you're washing up. Always bring eyes to house parties. There's never enough. I thought it was a really nice little article about small changes that could give you some kind of inner peace. I'll see if I can leave the link to it down in the description. They look lovely. Thank you. I think I am going to go and get some more compost. But if I don't do it now, I won't do it next weekend, or it will take time next weekend, and we could use that time more effectively around the house. So I'm going to do that now. Also, I realise I need a watering can because I need to water those plants in and we don't have one. The previous owner left that, but a friend of ours said, potentially, if there's the only watering can that's in the garden and it's a garden that's not been maintained, he could have used weed killer in that watering can. So be very careful about using on your plants. Anyway, so I'm going to go and get a watering can, get some more compost. And also, what I also need, I need a brush for my nails because they are full of dirt. You dirty, dirty man. Thank you. So yeah, if you're going to carry on doing SA, Another hour, I'm gonna pop back to the garden centre. Are you? That's yeah. exciting. I feel like you should get another two of these pots though, because I feel like we've got more bulbs than those, those, those space. pots. Yeah, I feel like we should get a few more. Were they outside? They're outside to the right. Where the pots start, it's the first stand closest to the building. The pots See you later. All right, and we've arrived, we're at Haskins. I'm now at that point, I think I worked out when the car's on because you press start and then you get a little ready sign. But as you can hear, you can't hear anything. That's the joy of electric car. Is it on, is it not on? Look out for the ready at the front. Otherwise, I'm like, is it on? I'm gonna move. Yeah, it is. Right, anyway, Haskins car park is super busy. I'm expecting it to be crazy in here. So time to mask up, take my bags. I'm so glad I picked the noisiest trolley in the shop. I'm pretty sure these are the ones. Are they the ones? They look it. I think that's what David wanted. We'll find out. Now we had a load of those in the flat, black ones that we left. I'm now regretting it because they would be good for the fence, but we had no space, so there's no point getting stressed about it. Oh, David, you did come. You're here after all. I didn't say you'd get here. I'll see you in a minute, David. This is what I'm taking. Peat free, organic. Who knows? I'm not an expert. Also hoping those will stop it from making that awful noise. It has, but it's also made it very difficult to push. While I'm here, I'm going to look at bird feeding. It was nice watching the birds this morning. And we definitely need some feeders. And now I've realized the dead tree at the end, we can hang some feeders on, which means I can get feeders sooner rather than later. So I'm off to see bird feeders. Shopping done. I've got more than I probably needed, but that's nothing new for us, is it? Me and a seating thing, because I was really struggling this morning with a little, little pain in my back when I was trying to do some planting, so that'd be handy. Got some bird feeders, a small watering can that's got a rosette at the end, those buckets that Davey wanted, compost and more bird seed. <laughs> 
good by noisy trolley and you can recycle your old plastic pots just bring them here which is good because normally you end up just loads hanging around the garden or balcony as it once was right time 20 past one get back see how david's doing and we can show you the bookcase that came today it's well, a big box isn't it it is a big box i'm not sure how to best open it off you go <laughs> We still do have the labels on the floor. <laughs> we haven't picked up all the plastic yet. Oh, oh is that the top or the bottom? I think it's neither. So these are the instructions. Oh, this one's over the door. You left the keys in the door. I probably did, yeah. Well, I left the keys in the door and it was a Conservative MP coming to uh, ask us for our, their vote. It's, it started, I'm starting leaving keys in the door. I can't believe you left the keys in the door. That's like, rob me, rob me. So we're disregarding the instructions and we've just decided, oh hello, there was just chewing through the cardboard. <laughs> I'm in. Ta -da. <laughs> I thought it would literally be, take my box off, put my legs on. <laughs> no, it's, you need to build me. <laughs> we should Don't read. feel like building you. That's going to make Garage more joyous. There's another one of these coming tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm not here tomorrow. Anyway, right. Cardboard box out. David screwed the legs in. you got to screw those. So I think that's it. All we have to do now. Put it in situ. Yeah, so we've got two of these. One coming tomorrow, one came today. Either side of this table for now. Yeah, so which side would you like it? I think one could probably go next to the TV unit if we move it along at some point when the tree's gone. That's where it is for now. Bookcase number one. Obviously that table will go at some point. Ikea will now take back furniture if it's in a good condition. And that's one of the things they will take back because they don't, don't make that anymore. And I think for the state it's in, they, could, they will give us £100 according to the website. But, oh, well, that's cool. But we've got to take it to Ikea. I don't think they do collect. But I need to look into it because at some point... It's not going to stay in here. So I've put Lumiere and Cogs into it. Give you some kind of sense of how wide it is. It's quite narrow, but I quite like the fact it's quite narrow and petite. So the idea was to get two either side, and then they do a sideboard eventually, which goes in the middle. So watch this space. I think that's about it for this random weekend, or we've forgotten we how finishing? to put... Yeah, because I thought we've done the plants, we've done that. You, you, you've just still got homework to do. It's getting dark. It's, it's getting dark. It's really hard to film when it's dark. Bank holiday Monday, isn't it? And tomorrow we're both back at work, so we've got things we need to do. And I'm, I'm we're traveling both... to London tomorrow. You are. And we've both forgotten how to vlog. It's really weird vlogging at home. It's also weird vlogging here because it doesn't feel like home. Well, it does, but it's also... It feels like someone else's house. Yeah, it's still, like, still like an Airbnb, <laughs> so... We'll get Which in... we're now furnishing. We'll get into the swing of things. As David said, we've got another one of those coming tomorrow. We've got paint sample coming for the kitchen downstairs. We sat talking last night about all the things we want to do and what's the priority, isn't it? So there's definitely stuff happening over the next few weeks. Still got that stinky sink downstairs. Yeah. I think the U-bend inside, the, the skunk in the U, both the U-bends, which is why it smells. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. <laughs> and uh, keep safe. And if you're going back to work or you've been back to work this week, hope you have had a great start. Oh, yeah. I hope 22. it's not been too much of a drag. Uh, take care. Hooks. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.